It's really not looking good for David Ajabo at all. Um, this has been a rough start to his career, to, to, to begin your career with an Achilles injury uh, on your pro day before you even got drafted. Now, you still did make it to the second round, uh, so that was good. Uh, but then pretty much missed your whole rookie year, played in a game and change, and showed a nice flash. Uh, but then this year, I know a lot of Ravens fans have been saying it. They said David Ajabo just didn't look as explosive. As he once was he Didn't look like he was himself Yeah he still looked a little slow Coming off the edge And I, me and myself I hadn't noticed it But I guess a lot of y'all were right So some people thought that he may have had these issues Even during training camp During the preseason and all that They thought that he may not have been his normal self And that is a real possibility uh, Because even when you watch him play This year he just He just hadn't been winning He, he had not been Winning and it was rough It was really really rough I was hoping that we Alright we got David Ajabo We got Adafi away uh, They pretty much like brothers They done grew up together they, they tight They close friends Maybe they'll bring the best out of each other And Ravens will get that nice pass rush But it just hadn't translated with either of the two yet And now with David Ajabo and his latest injury uh, That could keep him out for Possibly the remainder of the season uh, It is just It's tough but anyway, Harbaugh, Harbaugh, we know how Harbaugh is when he comes to speaking about injuries. Uh, he can be very vague and very brief and very general with injuries. But with David Ajabo, he was not very general at all. Uh, he said uh, he's still being evaluated. There's some decisions that have to be made in terms of how he wants to approach the injury issues. Not injury issue, injury issues. So there's more than one. Man, but that report did come out last week. But still, hearing it again, it just, it's not a good look. Um, now, with that part where he said there's some decisions that have to be made in terms of how he wants to approach it, I'm thinking that th this sounds like a lot of the, the Marcus Williams talk from this year and last year. It sounds like the Rashad Bateman talk from last year. Y'all remember when John Harbaugh, whenever John Harbaugh says that, they have, it sounds like Michael Pierce last year too. Uh, last year, Rashad Bateman had, I want to say an ankle injury. I forget what injury it, he had. Uh, Michael Pierce, he had, I want to say, a biceps injury, a triceps injury. Um, and then this year, Marcus Williams, he had his injury. And then last year, he had his injury too. But whenever Harbaugh says, hey, they have a decision to make, then he's put it in the player's hands to decide, hey, if you want to have surgery, it's probably going to be done for the year. That's probably going to be a wrap. Or if you want to try to rehab it, it could take some time, but you're going to be out for a while. Uh, and hey, maybe it'll heal up the right way. Maybe it won't. It, that's just the risk involved. So it's up to you. So this sounds like with uh, David Ajabo, he's giving him the option. Like, you want to do surgery or you want to do rehab? You you let me know. So I guess we'll see. We'll see. But he is on injury reserve right now. So he will be out at least the next three games. But then uh, Harbaugh said after that, he said, so I would just say that it's up in the air. And Jameis Hensley, he was like, whoa, 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 but, but you mean like him possibly being out for the remainder of the season, for the rest of the year? And Harbaugh said, yeah, yeah. So if Harbaugh is confirming that something like that is up in the air as far as somebody not being out a couple of weeks, but possibly being out for the remainder of the season, then yeah, it's, it's not a good look. Uh, and it's, it gives you little hope that that person could be back. Now, if we go back... When the Baltimore Ravens signed Kyle Vannoy, that uh, was really the writing on the wall for me. And I know for a lot of y'all, too, it was the writing on the wall because it's like, man, they 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 reaching back out to Kyle Vannoy again. They had him in this offseason. And for whatever reason, they didn't sign him then, um, but they had him in. And I was thinking, all right, maybe they just brought him in when they had him in on, on, on that first visit. I was just thinking maybe they just brought him in because Tyus Bowser, he's still limping a little bit. Tyus Bowser ain't all the way right yet. So it's one of those stay ready so you ain't got to get ready type of things. Just in case Tyus Bowser ain't ready, all right, Kyle Vinoy, you up. But then when they brought him in this second time around, I was like, oh, no, I don't think this got anything to do with Tyus Bowser. Because if it had something to do with Tyus Bowser, they would have been brought him in already. But it's, I, I feel like it had everything to do with David Ajabo and Adafi away. And it did. Especially David Ajabo. So, man, it's been rough. I've seen a lot of discourse amongst Ravens fans um, just going back. And there was a lot of discourse even when the pick was fir first announced. 
Um, a lot of Ravens fans were not really happy with the David Ajabo pick uh, because they felt like, man, why would the Ravens draft somebody? Ravens already have a history of injuries. They got a, a, a recent bad history of injuries. I don't know what it is, but they got it. So why would they draft a player who just tore his Achilles? Um, but at the same time, then there was a flip side of people saying, whoa, whoa, this dude was supposed to be a top five, top 10 pick at the latest. And Ravens got him in the second round. It's a steal, a steal for the future, but a steal. So it's been a lot of back and forth recently about David Ajabo amongst Ravens fans. Um, but hopefully for his sake, he can heal up right. He, he can heal up right. And whenever he is back, he can come back and he can be the David Ajabo that we all hope that he can be. Now, um, another injury that we still waiting news on, uh, Harbaugh didn't confirm anything in the uh, presser, is Morgan Moses. Morgan Moses, of course, he had that injury uh, during the game, and he left the game to never return again Well, for that game. Uh, so I know a lot of people are saying, oh, it looked like a pec injury. I, I am hoping it ain't no pec injury because, oh, when will these injuries stop, man? We're just so tired of these injuries, man. But Morgan Moses is another one that, is out for who knows how long with Ronnie Stanley. Hopefully he can come back. Tyler Linderbaum, Linda Flinder, hey, he came back and he looked good. He looked good. So it was very nice to have him back. Shout out to Sam Mustafa because Sam Mustafa came through and he was nice depth. But having your starter back, it ain't nothing in the world like it. So Ronnie Stanley, big game this week against the Steelers. <laughs> that guy T.J. Watt Then I'm thinking of Alex Highsmith too We don't have to go against uh, Cam Haywood Because he's he's out for a little while But still Steelers know how to bring it So yeah, we need all the positive reinforcements We could possibly get And hopefully there's some other guys That end up coming back from injury this week We know Marlon Humphrey Maybe this will be the week for him Odell Beckham Jr. When he was on Marlon Humphrey's IG Live He said hey catch me next week when I'm playing So hopefully that's him letting us know Adafi away, I, no clue at all. No clue. Arthur Millette, I know he had left the game for a little bit. I don't think he came back, but he wasn't really needed. But in this game, hey, Arthur, the Arthur Millette that we got this past week against uh, the Browns, hey, bring that and more against Pittsburgh, whether we going against Kenny Pickett or we going against uh, Mitch Trubisky, whoever that quarterback is, let's go. So, yeah, Ravens need all the help that they can get. They need all the health. That they can get moving forward in the season Because we just tired of everybody just being hurt 